Hello and welcome to this first impressions video on what I think of FS25. So I have had issues like everybody else, uh, a lot of people are having at the moment. Uh, my first impressions were, I went into the game that it seemed that everything had changed quite a lot. I couldn't quite suss out to start with whether it was for the worse or the better. It was a bit strange going from 22 to 25. Uh, I had quite a few issues with screen flickering, mainly. Uh, I've managed to sort out my settings now and do some other bits and pieces uh, that's made it slightly better. Uh, I'm left with a little bit of flickering every now and again, but it's normally when I first go into the game. Now I'm hoping a, a patch from Giants will sort that out, because I think I've done just about everything I can do. So I'm hoping a patch may sort that out and optimise everything a bit more. So hopefully that will fix that. There's obviously quite a few people complained about that on PC. Uh, there's obviously a few issues on console which they can't sort out. So that would almost suggest that it is the game and hopefully a patch will sort that out patches will sort most of these problems out for PC and console people. So to start with I wasn't quite sure what I thought about it all. Um, let us know your thoughts of what your initial thoughts were when you, when you went into game. Um, but as I do a little bit more and get the chance to do a little bit more it seems to be getting better. Uh, my main thinking now is obviously when the patch sorts everything out and it becomes good. My main th thinking now is um, obviously the Giants maps are very basic so even with what you've got at the moment my thinking is if you've got the mods in a little while you know weeks over the next weeks or months as you get mods and maybe a UK map uh, things will start to look and, and go a lot better. So I think I think things can only get better from this point. I have had a basic look at GE uh, and in talking to some other people it looks like converting mods could possibly be a bit of a nightmare. It's not just about changing vehicle shaders now, it looks like you've possibly got to take them into Blender and put this new paint system on. So if you're not versed in that uh, it's going to be a bit of a struggle for some people um, but I hope we get most of the mods eventually that we add on 22 there are some mods coming out now where people are just changing the mod description which does absolutely nothing and putting them on websites which isn't very helpful because it's just wasting everyone's time you've got to go in, obviously download it put it in, realise it's broken delete it which is not really helpful at all so uh, people that do that need to sort of pack it up really because they're not doing anyone any favours the ground deformation is um, pretty impressive quite impressed with that pretty sure everyone else is too the only thing I would say now that I don't really like are the sort of white bugs sort of that are floating around I don't really think they need to be in it or the sort of, I don't know if they're supposed to be dust or bugs you can't really see what they are but you get I'm sure you've seen all the white bits and bobs floating around it's like the green bugs that are in FS17 then it won't, goes one past the tractor now um, I'm just, I'm not very impressed with them. I just find them more annoying than anything, really. As for me, personally, I've been quite busy for quite a few months. That's why the videos have dropped off a bit. Um, as I just haven't had time for YouTube, I did put up a post about that. Um, in the last week or so, I've got a chest infection 
so that has sort of stopped me doing videos a bit that's why I put out the other two uh, sort of cinematic ones that are just with music but um, pretty much nearly fixed now so hopefully I'll be a few more days and I'll be a bit better I'm not entirely sure whether to start doing some videos on Zelonka which I'm on now or whether to wait for a UK map I may probably start doing some bits on Zelonka but nothing too major so we can swap over to a UK map when something comes out appropriately so as for every every FS it hasn't been without its start -up problems and basically I hope it's going to be fixed and like I say once we get the mods and the maps coming through I think things will only get better so and everything will improve hopefully so I think we can have quite a bit of fun on there so do let me know your thoughts on what you think of the game so far um, and if you agree with you know that things are going to get better I think they are if you haven't bought it yet and uh, you're not sure um, like I say, always, FS is always without its problems to start with, but I think this will get better. And it's definitely worth getting. If I didn't think it was worth continuing with, I probably wouldn't bother, so I'm not going to advise you different and then do something different myself, but yeah, I am. Um, I look forward to what can be done with it later. And obviously there's news of Carmsden Farm. Um, that could possibly be out maybe before Christmas if we're lucky so it would be, it'd be good to get back to Carnston so that's where I'm going to leave it for this video so thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you again soon cheers